And I don't get mad easily, but when I do get mad, I, I'm like, I'm an insane bitch <laughs> when I'm angry. Hey everybody, it's Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special guest, my new puppy, Sky Sky Bear. <laughs> she is a baby Bichon Frise. She's two months old and she's Slater's gift to me and I thought it would be nice to introduce her to you guys for a few seconds at the start of this video before I have to put her down and she starts crying and whining just so you guys know what that sound is if ever it comes out. So that is my baby Sky Sky Bear. In today's video, we are going to be talking about assumptions. Now, this is a trend that I've seen on a lot of YouTube channels these days and I think I am a little bit late on the trend but it's better late than never. Assumptions Assumptions are people's first impressions of you or what people assume you are like. So I'm sure being an online persona, a lot of people think they know me, but they really don't know me and their thoughts about me are based on what I show online. So in today's video, we are going to be reacting to these assumptions. If you guys are interested, then please keep on watching. All right, we are starting. Assumptions. First one is clingy paglasing. Uh, totoo, I am pretty clingy, but it depends. I, I need to like you. In order for me to be clingy to you, I need to like you. And I am pretty clingy without alcohol, so I think that becomes exponentially greater with alcohol. So yes, this is a correct assumption. I am clingy when I'm drunk. Number two, you have never tried riding a jeepney or a tricycle from Ellie Ganade. That is incorrect, Ellie Ganade, for your information. When I was in high school, I went to Manila to be part of this ballet like summer workshop and I didn't have a car in Manila because I was still in high school and so every time we wanted to eat out we would take a tricycle from CCP where Bali Philippines is held and we would take I think there was this single orange jeepney I forgot what number it was but we would take that all the time for five pesos to drive us all the way to Harrison Plaza and I would take that like almost every day so yes I have ridden jeepney and tricycles I studied at Ateneo de Manila University and in order to get around you gotta ride a tricycle so unfortunately that assumption is not correct unfortunately for you but fortunately for me I have tried riding public transport here in the Philippines assumption number three is that I am so OC I think that is partly correct you know people have told me that I shouldn't use the word OC lightly because it is an actual sickness but I am kind of a neat freak if that is what you mean I like to keep things in order I like to plan things especially when it comes to planning my itinerary or planning events I am pretty like up in there, you know what I mean? But with regards to cleanliness, I come from a family of neat freaks and I am the least neat among them. But now that I'm living with Slater and I'm trying to like live with a guy, I've realized that I am pretty darn clean compared to him. Like he is just super duper messy. But to him, he's not messy. So I don't know, It's I guess it's like, it comes in levels. And I feel like when I'm living in this house, in comparison to my mom and my sisters who are like at a, at a 10, I'm like at a seven. And now that I am living with Slater, who is like at a five, I feel like I need to be at a nine. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. So that is my level of OC right now. Fourth assumption is that I am a crazy rich Asian. I am Asian and I'm a little bit crazy, but I gotta hold it up on the rich part. Like I'm no Henry C man. <laughs> I wish I was, but unfortunately, no, I am not. I don't have a private plane. I don't travel to any destination that I want to at the switch of a flip of a finger. But um, yes, I am crazy and I am an Asian. So you got two of those, right? Number five is that I am the real bully in the relationship. Unfortunately, again, that is not correct. Slater is an absolute bully. What does that mean, sir? <laughs> Why are you stepping on my feet, <laughs> sir? From under, ka. Why do they call it a beach? Why? Because you... <gasps> what are you trying to say? You're... I don't know. Check me, <gasps> Swimming. Oh, pala. Sorry. Donya Chris is still contemplating swimming with the sardines. She's afraid to be eaten by the sardines. You know what he told me? I'm too white now. The sardines are gonna think I'm bread. Yes. Who does that? Or rice. So either bread or rice. And the only reason why I try to bully him back is to get back at him. But if he didn't start it in the first place, then I wouldn't have a reason to bully him back. So, no, Slater is the bully in the relationship. 
Number six, I will not eat fast food. Yes, I don't eat fast food, that is correct. As much as I can, I don't like to eat fast food just because it is unhealthy and it's very bad for you and I don't enjoy it. The only fast food that I really, really enjoy is probably Jollibee French fries or McDonald's Twister fries, something like that, but I don't eat burgers. There's not much that I can eat in fast food, so yeah, that's correct, I don't eat fast food. Uses samoka and hasola every day. I would say that is correct and I think that's very Cebuano of me. To those of you who don't speak Visaya, Samuka means annoying, right? Yes, it means annoying and Hasula means hassle. It's such a hassle. I think I said Hasula way more in the past but now I just tend to say Hasula whenever my dog pees or poops or they're not supposed to. Aside from that, Samuka I say a lot when Slater bullies me. That is a fact because he is a bully. He's such a bully. Okay, number eight. I have a nice singing voice because you hit high notes when you say good morning and hey everybody in your vlogs. Hey guys, good morning. Good morning. Hey guys, good morning. It's our day two in Vegas. Good morning. Morning, it is day three here in Dubai. Good morning, today is beach day. Good morning everyone. The sun is finally up. Good, good morning, morning everyone. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> Hey everybody! <laughs> that assumption, I wish it was correct, but unfortunately, I can't sing for the life of me. I have a, such a bad voice. I can't. That is my frustration. I wish I could sing. If I could choose one talent, that is the one talent I wish I had, but unfortunately, you can't choose your talents and I don't have that talent. <laughs> Number nine, bugal bugalun. Only when I'm close to you and mostly when I'm drunk. <laughs> but those of you who don't know what bugal bugalun is, guys, a little help. It means kulit, playful. You're joker. Yeah, you're you're a joker or something like that. Only to the people I'm really close to, yes. Like to Slater, maybe, yes. To my sister, yes. To my close friends, yes. But like, if you're, <laughs> if you're a random stranger, no. <laughs> that's so weird if you just make jokes with random strangers. Okay, number 10, I am an impulsive buyer. Yes, and that is why I tend to stay away from malls and shops so that I don't have anything in mind to purchase because I am a very impulsive shopper and that's very, very bad. And that's why Slater always tries to veer me away from the malls and are traveling together. Number 11, tall like 5'6". Oh my god, you and me, we can be best friends. <laughs> Unfortunately, no, I am not tall. I am very petite. I am 5'2 and a half and a half. I wish I was 5'6". That is a frustration of mine. It's a little bit of an insecurity, but I think I've learned to not mind it very much, especially because Slater likes to rub it in my face that I'm super small. But no, I am only 5'2", and currently I'm minding less and less and less. Okay, number 12, I am low maintenance, but I have high standards. That is incorrect, my friends. I am high maintenance, and I have high standards. <laughs> but I'm trying to be honest with you guys. I'm not gonna lie, I am high maintenance. Do you think this is low maintenance? No, I have like 50 shades of the same red lipstick. No, I'm high maintenance. But uh, I think it's okay to be high maintenance as long as you have the means to maintain yourself and you don't bother anyone else and you don't, you know, make anybody else maintain you. Okay, number 13. High maintenance, fair humble. Uh, you know, that's, I like you also. <laughs> yes, I will say that that is correct. I am high maintenance, but I don't think I rub it in other people's faces. I sort of just like do my own thing. So if that's what you mean by humble, then yes, I take it. Number 14, I'm the favorite daughter. Unfortunately for me, that is not correct. I personally think that my mom's favorite is my kuya and my dad's favorite is my ate. So I'm the youngest. There's no room for me in this family. They just sort of accept me for who I am because I'm the bunso and I'm the pasaway one. I'm the black sheep. So I don't think I'm the favorite but I think they've done a very good job in accepting me for who I am and just leaving me alone. <laughs> Okay, number 15, you're not from the Philippines. I am from the Philippines, born and raised in Cebu City, represent. Uh, studied in Cebu all my life except for college. I went to Ateneo in Manila and I stayed there for maybe one or two years and then I moved back to Cebu. So all my life, I've been from the PH. Number 16, I'm an introvert. Uh, that's a funny assumption because, you know, there there's this personality test. I forgot what it's called. I think it's called the Myers-Briggs personality test. And the first thing thing that, that they test you on is if you're an introvert or if you're an extrovert and I've always been borderline and they say that you always need to take that test over and over again because your personality changes as you grow older so I would say that I wasn't extrovert and now I'm leaning more towards being introverted 
but at the same time, I don't know because I like hanging around people. So I guess it really depends on my mood and what stage I am in life. I guess I'm still borderline between the two personalities. Number 17. Pilian o pagkaon, which means in English, picky with food. And yes, that is very correct. I am very, very, very picky with food. I think food is something that brings me so much happiness. It's something that I look forward to. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, I always look forward to my food and that's why I just can't eat anything. To me, it's you're putting something into your body, you're ingesting it. It should be good for you at least or you should at least enjoy it, right? If I don't enjoy it, then why would I take it and, you know, spend another hour and a half burning it or you know trying to digest it i'm not making sense <laughs> okay number 18 i am very bubbly and i think yakin from k resilia yes i think i am pretty darn bubbly <laughs> actually i never thought of myself as bubbly and then i watched that video where my parents were interviewed and my mom said that i'm really bubbly and then i thought to myself you know what i think she's right i think i am pretty darn bubbly if you haven't watched that video i'm gonna put a link down below and up in the car so you guys can check that out with regards to yakin i would say probably only when I'm PMSing then I get very very sensitive I don't get angry or irritable when I'm on PMS but I do get very sensitive and I tend to cry a lot and most of the times I cry and I don't even know the reason why so when that happens I just check my calendar and I'm like oh okay and then I warrants later like it's red zone stay away from me yeah that's usually what happens every month 19 I'm sweet but makulit by Nia Nikki Niche yes that is correct I'm a very sweet girl <laughs> <laughs> claiming it but I am also very makulit. I think if you ask later that is probably the two words that describe me very very well in a relationship. At number 20, di kabalo masuko bisan awayan na mo hilo mura. From Lauren 1984. Well, sorry Lauren 1984. <laughs> I am a very nice person and I don't get mad easily, but when I do get mad, I, I'm like I'm an insane bitch when I'm angry. It doesn't happen often. Like you need to cross that point. But when you cross that point, don't go there. That's not Chris anymore. That's Gail. Gail's coming out. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't happen often. I'm hoping that Gail never comes out because she's a mean girl. All right, guys, those are all the assumptions that we have for today. I wish I could do more. If you guys want me to do more, then please leave a comment down below so that we can pick more for you guys. I think this video is pretty fun. I had a good time filming it. If you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, then please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!